Dean, uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, what, what are your initial expectations ahead of uh, tomorrow's cup final? It's a cup final. Um, and it's a great opportunity for us to win a competition. Uh, it's not going to be easy. Brentford are a really good side. Um, play high tempo, Brentford, to be fair. They play men's football. Um, so we're looking forward to the occasion. And you know, Obviously, we want to win the game. You know, we're going to have to improve on our performance, uh, especially after the last two performances that were in there to the standards we've set in, at different times this year so but we're looking forward to the challenge Where do you feel like the, the game could be won or lost uh, tomorrow? <laughs> oh, very simple we don't let in any goals and we score some goals um, look it's, it's gonna, they're going to try you know to be fair to them they use the ball really well so we've got to stop that um, physically we've got to make sure we're at it um, so and you need a little bit of luck in the cup you only create your own luck by uh, running on top of the opposition so um, we're excited about the game. The big thing for us is we just can't let our season, like you know, just filter out the way it sort of has the last two games. Um, so, you know, I know it was difficult at Wrexham going there, sort of to play with the injury list we had, and obviously the form they're in. Um, we were competitive Saturday without any punch, really. We no real, you know, end product to our game in the final tour. So we need to get that back, um, like we did here against Boreham Wood, like we did against Torquay, um, even when we lost to Halifax away, we played really well that day. Um, so we need to get back to that, that, that level of performance, and um, we just don't want the season to, to fizzle out. I think that's so important, that's a message to our players really, you know, um, how do they want to be remembered at the football club, especially for the next eight games, so we need to make sure we just dig a little bit deeper, have a little look at ourselves in the mirror. What sort of impact do you feel like a cup win could have to the uh, to the momentum of our players as we look to uh, to finish the season strongly? Well, that's what I just said. Yeah, you, you know, that you can only take it one game at a time, um, and it's a hectic schedule now. We play Tuesday, Friday, Monday, Saturday. So, um, obviously, we played last Tuesday as well. We played Saturday. So, yeah, look, we need to bounce back. We want to win football matches, uh, but you've got to dig deep to win football matches. And uh, like I say, we've had a conversation with the press this morning. And uh, we just don't want that season to fizzle out the way it has in the last two games, which is unacceptable, really. We've got a busy run of uh, fixtures coming up um, over the next coming weeks. So, what sort of uh, t- team can the Barnet Sports expect to see from I don't uh, know. I'll be honest with you. I don't know. I don't know who's fit. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> so, let's see who's fit tomorrow. And that's what it's been like. It's been very frustrating to manage. Um, so, uh, until literally people tell me that. Uh, uh, medical department tell me that he's fit, they're fit. I really don't know. It's so obviously frustrating with the, the amount of injuries we've had lately. But how much are you actually, actually looking forward to uh, the occasion of a cup final? Yeah, been yeah. involved in many a cup final. Yeah, there's a cup final, so it's exciting. Uh, hopefully, we will get a good turnout. Um, you know, uh, and at the end of the day, you want to win. It creates a winner mentality. Uh, it's something that. Football club hasn't had for a long time, so it's, it's my job to make sure we do that. Um, but it's the players' job to make sure they, you know, they dig deep for themselves and their family, as well as their supporters. So we need to uh, we need to improve. I'm sure you'd like to win some silverware for, for our uh, supporters who have been right behind us all season as well. Yeah, supporters have been behind us. Yeah, and it's been another difficult season. Um, it has been better than the last two seasons, though. Um, that's what I would say. There has been an improvement. We have got stability. Um, and we need to improve drastically but you know what we have to make sure is that we stick together that's so important we've got to stick together it's, it's, uh, we all want to be near the top of the table you know we are big Saturday we're a team that are fought or fought for a reason they've got 70 odd points for a reason um, and I think Ads has done a great job there at Solly Hall and it's the same with Wrexham they're second for a reason and um, they've got good players they've got strength and depth in their squad uh, their injury room but the medical department's never full and that's something that we have to change uh, and something that I will change.